Hey, Dungeon Masters. Today, I want to talk about stages of success. It's important when building encounters that you account for the possibility of failure. Let's be honest, there's nothing worse than failing an encounter and gaining nothing from it. Adding stages of success can help with this significantly. This way, even if the characters fail, they still have had some sort of feeling of making a difference. So, when building an encounter, consider that the player's actions and whether it's a complete failure or could some actions lead partway towards their goal in some way. For instance, maybe the players are aware that the wizard may be a little too powerful for them to handle. They could then take on the challenges encounters of Weakener instead. Stealing some material components or magic items, set up, you know, a trapped room with silent spell or something along those lines. Even if some of these turn out to be failures that they can't complete, just planning for the wizard to be a little bit weaker because they managed to snag her magical staff.